Following intense rainstorms that have severely affected the region of China, the residents of Yin City and Guangdong have sought refuge on upper floors and rooftops due to the widespread flooding. This predicament is exacerbated by an ongoing scarcity of relief supplies. In response to the flood crest of the Bijiang River passing through the city, government entities within Guangdong's Yin province issued directives on Saturday, mandating heightened awareness and preparedness against geological and natural disasters. Following the passage of the flood crest at 2 o'clock p.m. local time on Thursday, water levels in the Bijian, a tributary of the Pearl River, have commenced a gradual recession. As the waters recede, municipal authorities have cautioned about potential risks, such as landslides, mountain torrents, potential failures of reservoirs and river dikes, as well as the potential collapse of structures. These inundations coincided with parts of southern China facing the most substantial rainfall observed in over six decades. This has resulted in extensive areas being submerged, causing power disruptions, contamination of water supplies, and shortages of relief provisions. According to China's Ministry of Water Resources, as of noon, 99 rivers within the middle and lower reaches of the Exe River, situated within the Pearl River Basin, had exceeded the threshold for dangerous water levels. In response to these circumstances, the flood control headquarters of Guangdong province escalated the emergency response level to its highest tier on the evening of August 19. Concurrently, authorities have orchestrated the evacuation of more than 250,000 individuals within the province. The impact of the floods has affected nearly half a million people, resulting in approximately 1.7 billion yuan in economic losses. <laughs> Reports of flooding had also emerged from other regions, including Guangxi and Guizhou in the southwestern part of the country. Tragically, flash floods in Guangxi's Luzhou city have claimed the lives of four individuals and led to the destruction of buildings. Now we're going to go to the river. 